activate.
Ooh, a Viking hut. It was strange there was one so deep in the forest. Could this be the place the goblin spoke of? Perhaps inside there were answers. The hut was abandoned. All that remained was a book. Although Ardmar was never one for reading, he opened it. Inside the book it read, Diary of Vaskar, the Disgraced. Could his old friend still be alive? With Odmar's parents gone, Vaskar took Odmar in. Despite this huge responsibility at such a young age, Vaskar had impressed the chief and become a promising young warrior. The chief was so impressed, he decided Vaskar was to lead the Vikings into the forest for the first time. Vaskar went to the forest alone to prepare. But the more he went out there, the less he wanted to hurt anything within it. He begged the chief to reconsider, but the chief was not a very thoughtful man. When Vasco refused to lead the charge, he was labeled a traitor and was banished. Much time passed, and a fairy visited Vasco. A great threat to the forest was looming, and her people were in danger. She knew she could trust him with the great power to save the forest. He had no idea he was to fight the God of Chaos. Vaskar was almost victorious. But Loki, in desperation, turned Vaskar's own powers against him. He was cursed. But Loki was driven from the forest for now. The curse was quickly consuming Vaskar. But the fairy could not help. Loki's hold in the forest and their magic was still too tight. The fairy asked if there was anyone else who could help. Vasco was reluctant to put his friend in danger. But he had no choice. Odmar always asked himself why he never went out there. Why he was too scared to try and help his friend as he had helped him. He often thought about that. But where was Vasco now? Perhaps his answer laid further down the river.